On this episode of Bass to Billfish, Peter Miller has traveled north to South Walton Beach, Florida. Instead of guests from across the country, Peter has invited two members of the Florida National Guard out for a few days of R&R, Bass to Billfish style. We just saw Cobia and we're casting to him right now. Will these Florida natives be able to reel in enough keepers to feed a small army? Come on, this is so much fun. Or have these soldiers met their match on the high seas? Ah! Florida, the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin, and by Visit Florida. Unleash your Florida side. Usually on Bass to Billfish, we bring people in from out of state and we show them, you know, everything Florida has to offer. On this particular episode, we decided to kind of thank and pay tribute to a couple of guys that are in the National Guard, active duty, they just returned. I'm from Panama City. My family's Panama City as well. So we came over to have some fun fishing with the Bass to Billfish. Living in Gainesville, Florida, work out of Ocala, Florida for uh, Alpha Company 3rd of the 20th Special Forces Group. And uh, I've been in Florida for probably about the last 18 years. Some of my supervisors uh, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to be able to be a part of the show on short notice and definitely it sounded very exciting. I was just like past stoked, you know what I mean? One of our guests, Matt, arrived a day early. What's your name? Keone. Keone? I'm Peter, nice to meet you. Matt. Hey Matt, what's going on? Nice to meet you guys. The great thing about Keone is he's still at a time where he's very impressionable and the outdoors is just great for any kid, but he was just the perfect age for it. Are you guys ready to uh, do a little fishing? Keone had told me about you know his experiences uh, fishing. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Let's go. Come on. So where are we fishing at? The marina is right uh, kind of like on the other side of all these trees around this side and we're going to be fishing kind of close to this area. We were able to walk through these really scenic paths and oak trees with the moss hanging down. This was a nice pleasant little relaxing journey on the way to the marina. Yeah, the boat's uh, right down this way. I do see Captain Madison Roberts. Hey big hoser. Well, this is Matt. Hey, Matt, how are you? Matt and Roberts. This is Keone. Our designated captain for the trip was uh, Sid Little. Come on, hug it out, bro. No, no. How you doing? Pretty <laughs> good work to see you, man. Thank you, thank you. He's a great guy, you know. He's always joking. Sid calls me banana because I threw the cast net once and it was in the shape of a banana. So now every time he calls me, he's like, banana. <laughs> We got plenty of live bait back there. Got a little bit of shrimp and some croaker. We're gonna run on back east, mm -hmm. and we're gonna pitch some of these bigger baits in there and see if we can't get a big speckled trout hooked up. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Well, we headed out to a couple of spots that Sid thought might be holding some fish. Threw out three or four live baits, and within no time, we had a bite. There you go. Keep it going. Perfect. Keone hooks up with a nice fish. Nice. He winds like a machine. I was the first one to catch fish. Oh. Here we go, here it comes. Nice, nice. <laughs> Sliding right right here, right in here. Oh. Nice trout. We get to net it, and you know, a sea trout is a great fish to catch because it bites real hard. Oh. That is can we keep a that pig. One? Yes, we can keep this one, right, Sid? Yeah. It's really nice, and it's a great way to uh, start the trip. It was, it was perfect. Nice work, buddy. You got it. I was definitely excited for him to uh, get hooked up with some great fish and have some fun. Yeah. Oh, another one. All right, the bite's on. Going out with the professionals, hooking up with some great fish. It's definitely exciting. Oh, that's, that's a nice one. Nice. Now, now we got Holy some cow, I think we got dinner going, guys. Oh, the bite was on after that. It was like opening the floodgates. <laughs> yep, another one. Fish on. Oh, yeah, the winder. He is big enough. Are we having a real fish fry here today? I'm hungry. You are hungry, huh? We decided to go to a new area and try for a different species, and Sid told him to cast his bait right up against the docks. Oh, Holy really? cow, he's on. <laughs> okay, keep reeling. <laughs> 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 
He's gonna bite like you in a second. You better start pulling up there, Pull up. Rose yeah, here. Get, get him off the deck. He's easy now. He's fighting this fish, fighting it. He fought it for 10, 15 minutes. Oh, nice. Yes. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him run. It's Great. okay. Great. Oh. It was a nice sized puppy drum. Is he giving you a tussle or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that all you can want? It's fun watching him yeah. have excitement. We'll struggle with some, some of the fish. There we go. How heavy is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants instant instant information. Probably about seven pounds. Can we eat it? Oh, we got we got the trout yeah. and all I'm that. I'm eating to that eat. one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just had this look of amazement. It was really cool seeing how excited he was. Nice fish. Where's the cool at? Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like freaking Medusa. You want one? Jeremy, you got one on? Yes, sir. Fish on. All right. There was a couple of them that I thought, is there another person on the end of this line? Come on, this is so much fun. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Pet Boys does everything for less. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. Peter Miller has traveled to South Walton Beach, Florida to take a couple of Florida's National Guardsmen for a day on the water. Holy cow, I think we got dinner going, guys. Matt and his son Keone arrived early and Peter took them inshore fishing around North Florida's waterways. Now, Peter and the gang head back to the dock to cook their catch. Keone was very excited. We got back to the dock and uh, kind of reminded me of me when I was a kid. When I caught any kind of fish, I wanted to clean it. I took them and I started walking up the deck because I want to show off that I'm awesome. I took out my um, knife. Keone pulls out this new Leatherman his dad has given him. He was doing a really good job, but a Leatherman's not really the tool to clean fish. Couldn't really get through it, so I had to wait for somebody to bring the bigger knife. Here, let me show you a few things about this. Let me watch and show you with this trout. He did what he could. We wound up helping him out with the rest of the fish. Look at that. One good piece of skin and all the meat's there. He was very excited. I think these are the biggest fish I've ever caught. They brought the grill cooked right there in front of us. We sat out there at the dock, reveling in our great fishing day. Keone got to shoot off the little cannon that they do. Sunset, it was definitely great. Yeah, 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 look at the ring. Good time with our family. Was it better than getting it at a restaurant or buying Yes, it, it was. Next morning, we were greeted with a beautiful day and we headed down to the dock. There was Madison and Sid getting all the tackle ready for the day, preparing for anything. One of fives, one of fives. And I took it upon myself to make sure that everyone had can koozies. Got enough. Being first time going offshore, wasn't really sure what to expect, so I was trying to figure all that out. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of bottom fishing, hit some fads, see if we can find some cobias, and then, uh, if that doesn't pan out, we'll definitely run the beach and go look for some fish and try and sight fish some fish. I said, what are we using for bait? Catching snapper and cobia. Basically, we got some croaker, we got some mullet, some pinfish, and probably gonna have a little bit of speedos or cigar minnows. We got half of what we need right now, and we're gonna go meet the bait man. All right, so we're gonna get some eels. Yeah, we'll pull in and get eels. Yeah. Before going out, we had to stop at another marina to get some live eels, which was called Harbor Walk Marina. I've never Never really heard of fishing with eels before. I've heard of it on sushi, but uh, I guess if we like to eat it, why wouldn't the fish? You like freaking Medusa. You want one? <laughs> no, she didn't want one. The eels are kind of difficult to handle. Getting that out of the hook doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to be it's a lot hard, of fun. It's hard, man. You got to do a double hander. Is that you the did, technique? You do the double handlebar, yeah. It's pretty important. After picking up bait, we uh, headed out along the beach. Now the corner of my eye spotted something, and I, I thought it might have been a cobia. Yeah, he's up on top, little ones. You just got the smallest cobia of your life. That's a remora. No, that's a little cobia. No way. Buddy. These cobia can grow to excess of 100 pounds, so it was kind of a nice warm up. Fish here in, uh, in the panhandle are usually a lot bigger than this, you know? Well, after that first cobia, we decided to pack it in, 
changed gears for a little bit. We ran about uh, 10 miles offshore to a wreck. We threw out the first couple lines and man, it was it was incredible. It, it was game on from there out, you know. Jeremy, you got one on? Yes, sir. All right. We got a, yeah, we got an amberjack. Swing it back this way. Nice. It's basically like, hang on. Every time you drop down, it's like a little street fight. And you're on, and he's on, and he's on. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's a nice one, dude. That's nice. The uh, amberjack were definitely hitting. That nice is awesome. Fish. That was my first big fish, my first offshore fish. Woo! That's good stuff. And it's just amazing how hard those amberjacks can pull. I was really surprised by that. You know, it really took me off guard. Fish on. Fish on. My military experience, we do a lot of adrenaline things. It was kind of up there. It was a different adrenaline, but nonetheless, the same kind of rush you feel, you know, getting ready to step off that bird at 1250 AGL. I think I was the first one to catch some of the red snapper. <laughs> this could be a snapper. Bring that snapper over here. We got a triple. Holy cow. The snapper season was closed and we vented our snapper as we released them. It would actually release the air so they would be able to dive straight back down. We basically caught fish on this wreck until our arms were tired to the point where the guys didn't even want to drop down anymore. That's that's a good problem to have. Oh, we got another one there. Look at this yeah, one. I got another one on. Pretty fish. This is fast pace. It's constant. I mean, it wears you out, you know? There was a couple of them that I thought, is there another person on the end of this line? Nice work. Come on, this is so much fun. There you go. That's a beast. Yeah. What a day, man. Yeah. What a day. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Right here, one o'clock, one o'clock, right here. There we go, we got him on. There he is. Look at him showing his belly. <laughs> Wet. I'm thinking, who is spraying me with a hose? Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Yellowfin, Choice of Champions, Mercury, Number One on the Water, Mazda, Zoom Zoom, Gaff Magazine, your coastal lifestyle angling and destination publication. Closed captioning for Bass to Billfish has been provided by FishingCapital.com. Peter Miller is in South Walton Beach, Florida, fishing with two servicemen from the Florida National Guard. Fish on! After hooking up with large amberjacks and red snapper, Captain Sid Little takes the group sight fishing for Trophy Cobia. On our pursuit for the elusive Cobia, we had to put uh, all the faith in our uh, director's hands, Ray Combs. He's also a fisherman, and he's very adept at spotting fish. He has really, really good eyes. Right there, right there, right there. It's a sight fishing thing. You're going along, and you're actually out there scouting for the fish. I, I don't see him a lot. There he is. I got him. I'll, I'm going to lead him. And it's not very often your cameraman is finding the fish for you. Just saw a cobia. We're driving around here off the beach. I see, I see him, I see him, he's right up here. We had Sid Little up in the tower and he had an eel up there in a bucket and he wound up zinging a cast perfectly to the cobia. First or second cast out to that guy, he came up, snatched the eel, loved that thing and he was on. Reel right. down, reel down. There we go, we got him on. There you go. Here, did he suck down that eel? I just wanted to make sure it was down his gut. Yeah, I was watching, he just ate it and started looking around for more. Matt hooks up with this nice cobia, is probably 40 to 50 pound cobia, and he's really leaning into this fish, and he's not a small guy, he's a big dude. If he runs, let him, don't hold the line, Matt. Yeah, don't let, him him. let him run if he runs. How's his drag? Good, 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 okay. The yeah, cobia was definitely a beast to be fighting and pulling up, trying to keep attention on the line so it wouldn't pop out of his mouth. But. That is a nice one. Yeah. Nice cobia. Off. 10 minutes? Yeah. You think it's time? You think that fish is almost ready? Nah, uh, he's ready. You just gotta let her, let her roll up here. Yeah, get a little pump there. Mm -hmm. There you go, there you go, there he is. We wound up getting the fish close enough to gap. Oh, yeah, baby! Yeah. Woo! We got a bleeder! <laughs> wow. We got a bleeder. Not Once we uh, got the gap in them, blood started splattering everywhere all across the back of the boat. I'm doing the pin down. Hang on. My guests love to eat fresh fish, and we love to show how fresh the fish are, but it got a little nasty. You know, we got an artery on the fish, and it was uh, it was pretty sloppy. Man, that's a mess. <laughs> 
Mission accomplished. Well, we cleaned up the boat, got the fish all looking good, and, and we like to post stuff on Facebook. I think we're a little excited. Yeah, definitely. You got your adrenaline pumping? A little bit. So we had a photographer start knocking out some pictures. That is nice, huh? And, and we took a ton of them, and then I wound up, you know, taking one, and I, you know, got under the gills, and I held the fish up. Yeah! <laughs> And I'm thinking, who is spraying me with a hose? That's all I could think. <laughs> she likes you! <laughs> okay, well, I thought I was excited. That cobia took its revenge on me. Man, he totally just let loose on you, Peter. <laughs> Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. We spotted another cobia. All right, Jeremy! He was just dripping sweat, you know, over, under, around the boat, around the motors. Where is he now? Yeah, he's trying to go under. Walk him up to the bow and bring him around the side. Ah! Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by... Visit South Walton. Find your perfect beach. Fish Hard Gear, official apparel provider of Bass to Billfish and Peter Miller. Rodan. Precision GPS guided trolling motors. FWC. There's only one season in Florida. Fishing season. Peter Miller is in South Walton Beach, Florida, fishing with two servicemen from the Florida National Guard. There you go. After Matt lands a large cobia. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Peter got a good luck charm from the lingfish. <laughs> now, as the day winds down, Jeremy hopes to land a trophy cobia for himself. It was really cool to go out there and catch your target species. You know, we sight fished a cobia, we caught all the red snapper, but I know deep down that Jeremy was, man, like, God, I wish it would have been me on the rod. So we started kind of running back towards home, and lo and behold, we spotted another cobia. You feel like he's eating it? Thanks. Captain Sid, awesome, awesome job at getting the bait out there to him. Nice, nice one, look at him, dude. Good work, guys. That's another nice one. All right, Jeremy! You got Captain Sid, you got Peter, all these guys, you know, these pros, they, they've got you on a big fish, and it's you, you know, and you got two cameras looking at you, maybe three sometimes, you know? There's a little bit of pressure. Where is he, where is he? He's up front. Straight out. Okay, got him. Nice fish, look at him in the water there. Just so focused on Peter and everybody else telling you, you know, what to do, and I don't know, you just kind of react. Taking line, is he, Jeremy? Yep. He's going away? Nice. Feels like he's good right now. You guys are great. There you go. Perfect. Oh yeah, good fish. They're all good fish. Uh, Upside downer. The fish was roughly about 50 pounds. He was just dripping sweat, you know, over, under, around the boat, around the motors. Where is he now? Straight up there. Right yeah, he's trying to go under. Walk him up to the bow and bring him around the side. He did a great job and he was wiped out when that fish came to the boat. Good job, Jeremy. It was another beautiful cobia that Jeremy caught. He was really proud of it. Thanks, bro. Yeah, man, nice work. Oh, yeah. Right here. Thanks, nice man. work. The cobia is kind of unique in the fact that they have very Thanks. defined dorsal spines that can really get you. It's not something you want to jump on when it's uh, flying around the deck. Hey, I'll be up here if you guys need me, all right? Thanks. And took some great pictures with it. Put a Basta Billfish sticker on it for one of the photos. Woo! Right back in was incredible, man. You know, you just get that moment just to sit back, relax, and you know, just absolutely enjoy the nice cruise back in. Keone was very excited for our arrival back at the dock, and he was waiting for us. He's bit. Let's put it this way: it's bigger than your sister. I can carry my sister. How much does she weigh? <laughs> Here comes the whole crew. Look at it: wives and babies and. Not babies, really, toddlers. It was cool seeing them up on the dock and seeing my boy. He's young and everything's wow to him, you know, right now. So he was dead set on getting in the boat. <laughs> Those are the two we kept and then we released uh, some some really nice red snapper. Keone wanted to carry these Kobe and he's trying to lift them out, but they were so big, he couldn't really hold them. Yeah. There you go. Here, you want this too? <laughs> 
it was as if he caught him. He was so proud of his dad and so so proud of the fish. Lift it up. <laughs> I want that one instead. I want that one instead. That one's awesome. We had a chance to show a small token of our appreciation by bringing them in and taking care of them for the week and showing them a really great fishing trip. And then Bass Pro was kind enough to give us gift certificates for these guys. I got a $250 gift certificate wow. for you and a gift card for you. They just gotten back in town and uh, it was a nice opportunity for them to be shopping, you know, online at Bass Pro Shops and have the gear sent right to their houses. You got it, man. Thanks, bro. <laughs> thanks, to, thanks to Bass Pro Shops, yeah. too. Yeah, right? This weekend was, was definitely a great weekend, so it's definitely worth it to be able to spend time with, with my son fishing. And I know he had a great time, so that, that's definitely memories for him and memories for us for, to build upon. This has been, you know, one, one of the you know, best experiences that I've had. And uh, it also made me appreciate what I have right here in my own backyard in Florida. It was fun fishing and spent some time with my dad since he's always gone. It's a small token of our appreciation. You know, they put their lives on the line and uh, we owe them a debt of gratitude. You know, they're very special guys and, and we appreciate it. And we appreciate our military. Go to BassToBillFish.com and find out how you can audition to become the next guest on Bass to Billfish. The Bass to Billfish mobile app is here. Go to BassToBillFish.com to get your free app today.